I got into music through the Beatles and then I wanted to be a guitar player so I bought myself like a Les Paul knockoff which weighed a ton and started learning guitar and then I got into Slash from Guns N' Roses and I thought I was, I'm going to be lead guitar player. With electric guitars, if you don't have good enough gear and, you, and you're not in a nice room where you can be loud, it's really hard to sound good. So then I swapped that for an acoustic guitar and learned the Nirvana MTV album like Back to Front and taught myself guitar. And then I bought a Tascam 4-track, then I bought an 8-track, and then I learned about harmonies and just made music in my room. I was too shy, but that meant that I had to learn how to do everything myself. <laughs> so by the time I got to a place where I was like, um, I, I'm getting bored, I want to do something with other people, um, I was sort of ready. I learned mainly through reading stuff and and looking stuff up. It took me a while to realize like really the best thing to do is to just trust your ears. And by that I mean, does it sound good? For years and years it'll start, Ollie will write on his own with a piano. I generally start with beats I love. Like I could sit around making beats all day. I don't have templates that I work to and I don't have chains of plugins and instruments that I've saved. I start from scratch every time. I'm like a chord junkie and a beat junkie. If something, you, if you can make a beat and without anything else, you can like bop to it. Having a screen in front of you is a terrible thing. It kind of takes a while to unlearn and go with just what sounds good. Why I got the drum brute is the kick, <laughs> personally. It's just got a monster kick. Computers are amazing, but you have to be careful that you don't get lost in drop down menus and, and sample packs. And you know, you could audition a kick drum for five hours um, instead of writing a song. <laughs> when you have a drum brute, you'd be surprised how much variation and opportunity you have you just have a thing in front of you and you you'll be 10 times more creative than if you have 10 times more options super easy and i'm personally someone who doesn't want to delve into the innards of a of a piece of kit and so with this you've got your steps here and the cool thing is you, you can also do it unquantized. Oh man, the distortion is just great. I will often actually use distortion through a pedal as well. That's the cool thing about the drum brute. If you want to have all the options and if you want to have all the separation, you can feed your kick out separately, feed your snare out separately. It's a nice sort of crunchy vibe um, and distortion is always good. <laughs> distortion is good on everything, it's like salt. Doing something is better than thinking about what's the right thing to do because coming up with ideas is not easy but that's the fun bit but finishing stuff is a difficult part. And what you'll find is if you finish things, you'll be absolutely shocked as to where it leads. Even if it's something that I think is years and years won't like this, or this doesn't sound like it'll fit into my other thing or whatever, um, finish it. A, you'll feel better. B, you'll likely end up with something that's great. And C, you'll end up learning something. If I was gonna have a t-shirt with a slogan about recording, it would be finish it. 